Guys, today Pasta Bro and I are creating a masterpiece. Pasta Queen, the Queen. We're going to make a creamy broccoli pasta cooked all with Pinuccio, my little pot. Come and meet him. This is Pinuccio. What's happening with him? He's helping us with the sizzling of garlic, extra virgin olive oil, chili peppers, and broccoli. We're covering it so that the steam of it goes within, back into the pan, makes them super soft before blending them. We're using a few very raw basic ingredients of the Italian kitchen. Yes. Parmigiano, pecorino, garlic, olive oil, some chili peppers because we like them. Then I'm also throwing in an egg for good measures. Look at it. Ciao, Gina. Then we got some black pepper. But really, what I wanted to talk to you about. Gina, you're like Gina. Ah, bravo. Stamagna. Gina è la figlia della la gallina. gallina. Mm -hmm. La gallina in Italian is chicken. This pasta is called Ditali Lisci. Or you can find it as Tubetti. There's little pastina. What we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be creating a creamy broccoli mixture that this pasta is gonna be tossed in and cooked. So we are not pre-cooking this pasta in the water. We're cooking it directly into the creamy broccoli. So good, guys. So good. We have some cooking water because it's gonna help us with cooking the pasta as necessary if the cream of broccoli needs a little extra help. I'm collecting a couple of broccoli just before they all turn into a creamy mixture, just for decoration. Maybe three little four pieces. Because what's gonna happen now, have you seen now, this, um, this garlic olive oil and broccoli mixture is it's reducing itself into a poultice, which then is going to be blended. So you see here what we're doing. We blended everything together, which was the broccoli with the garlic, a little bit of chili pepper and all of that. We left a little bit of bits and pieces in there. And then we tossed the pasta directly inside so that the pasta has to, and it's forced to hydrate itself and cook into the sauce. Now, what you need to do is add water as necessary, okay, with the help of Bruno, which you're gonna get in my pasta set in November. And then, you know, you keep mixing it and this pasta will cook. And then there's one more last crucial, important step. All right, so you see, as you go, you add the water you need until it's perfectly al dente. And you know, it's a labor, it's, it's an intense labor of love because you're making it so creamy and so delicious. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it's so much more worth. And for kids, you obviously can do this perfectly and just skip the chili pepper. But I'm doing this for my brother and you know, he likes it spicy. here guys which you've been waiting for now is to whisk pecorino parmigiano with one egg whisk it all together and then toss it in when it's just al dente mix it in on a low flame and serve hot fast with a freshly ground peppercorn black and then you adorn it you embellish it you love it with a little bit of broccoli on the side it's so just spicy and gorgeous. Just like you are. Okay, guys, the final test is the brother test. Now, does this pass the test, even though I saw you eating it? You didn't tell me. So I wanted to know, so describe, because there's so many different elements of awesomeness in this dish. Yeah. So you got the broccoli, the chili pepper, the black pepper, freshly ground, you got pecorino, parmigiano, the egg. Yeah. Tell me, like... I don't remember. I need to try it again. <laughs> okay. 
So if you would like to really like capture every single ingredient in it, okay? Hmm. Like explain to our followers, why is this recipe, you know, next level? Uh, why is this recipe next level? Next level. Next level. This is because uh, very seldomly people eat vegetables on pasta. It's true. No, it's not true. No, it it's is okay. True. It is true. Okay, what do they like, eat on pasta? Kids will never eat this. For example. Uh, no, no, you mean green, green yeah. vegetables. Yeah. Because we have tomatoes, we have yes. eggplant, we've got. Let's say that greens like broccoli, spinach, or, you know, uh, what's another one? Kale. These are all things that, you know, are really packed full of nutrition. That it, they are hard for some people to eat because they have like you know a strong taste or not a really like appealing taste. Yeah. But even like for kids, 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 yeah, this one. If I was a kid, yeah, I would totally a hundred percent dig it. Exactly. <laughs> so we have uh, we have some. <laughs> Because you did it behind my back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Did I hit your tutus? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's what you did. Aspetta, 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 dammi tempo. Stamagna. 